The Hawaii County Board of Water Supply held a special meeting in Kona on Wednesday. The goal of the meeting, according to Board Chair Craig Takamine, was to establish a permitted interaction group. Takamine said the purpose of the working group would be to review procurement procedures, review storage capabilities, review equipment performance monitoring. He also expects the group to offer suggestions for improvements and to review procedures by the Department of Water Supply and the procedures for contractors. The board approved establishing the permitted interaction group. The plan is to have four of the board members on the working group and to add community members. Several community members either volunteered or offered suggestions. Takamine said the board will review the suggestions and determine who the members are for the working group, with the first meeting to take place sometime in October. We spoke with Takamine which, um, after the meeting. Know, the board really felt like... Um, we need to do something, you know, with um, all of these wells down uh, here in North Kona. Um, we definitely have a sense of urgency. We need to look for solutions. Um, I appreciate the board approving this permitted interaction group. And uh, between the four board members that are going to be on this group, we're going to look for um, experts to help us because we're not experts, you know, as you can understand, you know. Um, pumps and wells so really looking for experts that can help us you know think outside of the box look for solutions and not only like stopgap solutions but we're looking at you know long-term solutions uh, for some of the issues we've been having and you know honestly Jerry you know um, you know I, I I take as much responsibility as the department you know for all of these issues that have, have gone on and you know I know the community you know is um, not happy and rightfully so, you know. And um, so at this point, we're just looking at solutions and trying to come up with the best possible solutions for the long term. And um, hopefully we can, we can report back in, in a month or two. We also spoke with Kona resident John Moore, an engineer and longtime project manager who had some thoughts on the water situation. I think the water supply owes it to the public to let the public know what what is actually going on in, in real detail. So that's really about where I am. If, if they're tracking what the, the repairs are and how many are redundant, and if they are redundant, they should be keeping parts because they can expect that sort of, sort of a problem again in the future. Moore did some work for the Department of Water Supply back in 1975. They should have somebody on staff, or if they don't have somebody on staff, they should hire uh, an outside consultant who is an old-time well drilling construction stiff and who knows how to do this. They dropped one pump in a well already. Uh, we know, we, we who are in the business know that probably the same contractor dro dropped another pump in an incomplete well as they were trying to complete it oh, two to three years ago. And that held that contractor up for several months, if not more than a year. If you have the same problem recur twice, it's time to figure out a way to uh, eliminate that problem. And one of the ways to do it is to have proper supervision and have somebody standing by who knows what's going on. Part-time Kona resident Vince Owen also offered his thoughts. Owen is a water engineer who has worked in the Central Valley of California and has had extensive experience with wells. This whole thing, situation could be solved by standardizing, utilizing the same pump in every well. So this way, minimize the amount of parts that's needed where the parts are interchangeable. Because right now you have two or three different make pumps that's being utilized, so that means they're not interchangeable. Another thing also is the maintenance that's required to maintain these pumps. There has to be some form of uh, standard set where the, the problem is preventive, preventative instead of reactive. And that's the biggest problem that I see right now. And, you know, if, if this could be done, and it could be done, 
but it takes effort and uh, working together between the uh, the people in charge and the people doing it, and they have to know what they're doing. One additional step the board took at this special meeting, Board Chair Craig Takamine got agreement from the board's attorney and from the members. They will move their next meeting from Hilo to Kona. It will be September 26th at 10 a.m. at West Hawaii Civic Center. First item up is always public testimony.